Game started. Okay, Sagal. Kicks off with D4. Let's try D5. <clears throat> ah, he goes there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, this is uh, white is just playing a very conservative system here with the pawn triangle. Um, this is the call system? That's what it is. The London system with the bishop outside the chain, or the uh, Tory system, bishops here and here, and the bishop inside the pawn triangle is the call system. <clears throat> and if he goes um, b3, bishop b2, that's the called sukertart. So I don't have a particular line against it. Um, just keep a little tension in the center here and develop my pieces. <clears throat> uh, I don't want him opening up the king side, so that is a tough decision, but uh, I could play um, h6 instead of all going all the way to h5. So I play h6, he plays h5, and then I can play um, uh, g5. I just don't want him opening up the H file and getting a free attack against my king. Problem with moving the H pawn is it weakens G6, and so now there are ideas of uh, sacking, sacrificing the knight on G6, for example. Say the knight goes to uh, knight E5, for example, to G6. So I'm thinking I want to play bishop G5 pretty quickly here. Try and pin that knight. Yeah, so he goes there immediately. So I don't think this sack is on right now. Knight takes, pawn takes, bishop takes, or bishop takes, pawn takes, knight takes. Just doesn't have enough force. So let's um, <clears throat> let's challenge the knight first. Be prepared to take it if need be. Yeah, that's annoying. I'm going to take it anyway. I think it's a little too dangerous to let it live there. And um, now I can play knight to g4, threatening to take on uh, e3. Um, I don't know how stable the knight is there, however. <coughs> We will see. I, he, okay, yeah, he defended e3 with the bishop that way. Okay. So I could play pawn to f5. If he takes on passant, I take back with the knight, and, and then I lose uh, g6. can always play um, h5 at some point if that becomes a problem. Let's see if I can put more pressure. Be nice to be able to put some pressure on um, e5 there, e e3. <clears throat> well, how about queen here? So I'm on this diagonal and I'm supporting b6, g6 also. Might be handy. Maybe just bishop to um, bishop to f5, and if he exchanges, it gives me isolated pawns here, but um, doubled pawns. But then the queen can come over and help defend on the king side. Okay, so that leaves um, 
and b2 hanging but rook b1 queen here puts my queen out of play I would rather do something about his attack so I am going to play this uh, bishop to f5 and if he takes I'll take back and then uh, with the plan of getting my queen over here to the king side also that pawn on f5 if I can hold on to it supports my knight here nicely and the g-file is not opened up because he's got a pawn <clears throat> on g2 there so this doubled pawn may not be as bad as it seems I'll see if he can see if he can find a way to take advantage of it Maybe I need to do something about the c-pawn before I bring my queen over here. Because it is hanging, after all. I could play rook c8. Okay, he directly goes after this. Um, I don't want to... I don't want to play um, e6 here, supporting the pawn, because it blocks off my queen. Um, so maybe this is a pawn sack, actually. He can take on c8, uh, c5 now. Rook c5 and b4 to support it. But uh, well, I'll have a rook opposite his queen. Maybe I get some mileage out of it. Oh, now definitely I want to open this up. <clears throat> so just um, simply b4, b5, b5, b4. Yeah, so the move uh, a3 stopped the immediate b5, but now I'm supporting it again. Huh, there's also this knight uh, fork here. I should probably have paid attention to that earlier. Hmm, yeah, so he decided to deal with that. Also, that's good, and that puts pressure on um, <clears throat> on this um, f5 pawn. So let's go ahead with the attack over here, then. So he's got to move the knight out of the way before he can take on f5, I believe. And the knight uh, doesn't have too many great squares. It can come back here or back here. Ah, just getting the queen out of the way. Okay. Threatening on a5, yeah. So let's... Um, I take, he could take with the uh, bishop. Um, so 
So I'm bringing my queen here. The idea is I take, bishop takes, rook takes because the uh, pawn on b2 is pinned. And at the same time, I'm defending um, a5. <clears throat> Ah, so he decides to open up this way. So he takes with the queen. Um, I'll probably place my queen over here on uh, on the A file and just uh, try and mate. <laughs> Opening up the A file is not uh, not all that great for white. He just wants to pin it, okay? <clears throat> okay, so let's move to the A file, however he takes. This is a pawn sack at this point, but uh, I was ready for that. Prepared to sacrifice a pawn for the greater good. Aha. Okay. Let's see what his plan is. Maybe maybe it's okay. Maybe he's going to let me go to um, a1, king, c2. Queen back here, check, and pawn takes. I don't know, looks looks a bit scary. So that's interesting. So now if I play knight to, uh, I mean pawn, if I play pawn to uh, b3, it threatens checkmate, right? It's a bit dangerous to leave these pawns hanging around your opponent's king. Uh, the other thing I was noticing is if the bishop moves away, I have knight to... Um, e3, forking the rook and the queen. And his pieces cannot easily attack my king. There's still a few steps away. Bishop here, knight here, rooks blocked by his own pieces. Yeah, so that's a peace sacrifice. Maybe it's justified. <clears throat> so I play knight e3 first queen moves, then I take the bishop. I guess I might as well take the bishop first. It doesn't matter. Queen is going to move anyway. So he's got um, several pawns. For the piece, one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, just one pawn for the piece. So a knight here, here. I can force the king to there. Okay, so my idea is rook here, king goes there, I trade one pair of rooks, and then after that I take, um, take this pawn over here. Now that's a mistake, isn't it? Because of check, there's only one move, which is knight here. Check. <clears throat> and then I can at least grab this pawn. Knight here is not yet a threat. Not grabbing this pawn seems good. King can't even get out of uh, out of the pen. So 
So there's a threat of check here. King moves, and then I take the knight. Oh, but he can go to um, that square. He can go to e2. So what should I do here? Knight takes pawn. And come in here and check the king. <clears throat> Knight d3 check. King here or here. If the king goes there, I can take the knight. If the king goes here, I have a discovered check with this knight. White resigns. Okay, yeah, it was looking pretty good for me. Take a look at this in the postmortem. See you guys later. Bye.